Jose Gregorio Hernandez was an influential Venezuelan doctor who showed special concern for the poor and vulnerable. This is a short biography of his life. He was born in Venezuela in 1864. His mother was a housekeeper and his father sold pharmaceuticals and livestock. As a boy, he told his parents that he wanted to go to law school, but they persuaded him to pursue a career in medicine. He left for medical school in Caracas when he was just 13 years old. He was a diligent student known for his serious character. He viewed the practice of medicine as a way he could be of service to others. In his free time, he enjoyed playing music, reading, and writing. He was a good dancer, and it was said that girls frequently fought for the chance to dance with him. He was also known for his elegant fashion sense. After he graduated from medical school, the Venezuelan government awarded him a grant to continue his studies in Europe. In Paris, he studied bacteriology, pathology, microbiology, histology, and physiology. After his return to Venezuela, he worked as both a doctor and a teacher of medicine. He also felt increasingly called to the religious life. In 1908, he studied for 10 months in a monastery in Italy. Five years later, he enrolled in the Pontifical Latin American College in Rome to pursue the priesthood. Both attempts failed due to his frail health. Back in Venezuela, he followed a strict routine. He would attend Mass every morning, after which he would visit the sick and then go to the university to train new healthcare workers. As a doctor, he was known for his charity as well as his medical skill. He would treat the poor for free and buy them medicine with his own money. When Caracas was ravaged by the Spanish flu, he worked with a team of doctors to treat patients and battle the illness. With his friend Luis Rossetti, he spoke out against the poverty and poor conditions that allowed the disease to thrive. On June 29, 1919, he attended Mass in the morning and visited some of his patients. Someone visited him and told him about an elderly woman in critical condition who needed his help, so he quickly left to see her. While crossing the street, he was hit by a car and killed. He was 54 years old. Word of his death spread quickly, and the authorities had to intervene to organize the massive parade of mourners who arrived to pay their last respects. He is remembered as one of Venezuela's most influential medical doctors. His piety and charity have led him to be called the Doctor of the Poor and Everyone's Doctor. He was beatified in 2021, and his feast day is October 26th. He is a patron of medical students, doctors, medical patients, and diagnosticians.